Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my top five books that I want to reread. So this is my first time filming in front of my newly organized bookshelves. I just finished um, reorganizing them this morning. My bookshelf reorganization video should have gone up before this one. If so, I will link it in the cards up above for you guys to check out. Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey and it is currently hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. I will leave all of the relevant links down below for you guys to check out. This week's topic is um, top 5 books that you want to reread. As I mentioned, I absolutely love Top 5 Wednesday. Um, I don't participate as much as I would like just purely because I never have 5 books that I can talk about um, for the topics. But I do for this topic so I'm really excited to be participating so let's jump straight in. now. Just as a disclaimer, these books are not ranked from 1 to 5. I'd be equally as happy to reread all of these. Like, they're not ranked. These are just 5 books that I am hoping to reread. First off, we have a very obvious answer, and that is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. This was actually in my 2016 goals video that I wanted to reread um, this series this year, and it hasn't happened, and I've accepted that it's not going to happen in 2016, as we are almost to the end of November, um, but I definitely, definitely, definitely will be rereading this series in 2017. Um, I will actually hopefully be reading um, The Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets in the illustrated editions, um, and then continuing on with the um, rest of the series in my normal um, format. Um, yeah, so I haven't reread this series since I um, reread the books prior to the last Harry Potter movie coming out, so I'm really excited um, to reread um, this series because it's always one that I enjoy. The next book I want to mention is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie Maguire. Now this is a bit of a controversial book um, here on Booktube. I read this book prior to um, joining Booktube and I really enjoyed it. Um, since um, joining Booktube um, and watching a lot of Booktube I have seen that this is a bit of a controversial story. A lot of people um, feel that this is a, um, depicts a really um, emotionally, etc., abusive relationship. Um, and so I really want to reread it um, to see what I think about it. Like quite a few years on from when I originally read it, um, to see what I think about it now that I'm older and now that some of the kind of issues with it have been brought to my attention. I really want to see what I think about it, kind of on mature reflection. Next we have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This is the only Gillian Flynn book that I have read, but I do have Dark Places and Sharp Ob Objects on my TBR, and I'm planning to get to those probably in the first half of 2017. And once I have read both of those, I do want to reread Gone Girl um, to kind of see what I think about it more um, following on from having read like all of her books, because it's been a while since I've read this, um, and I just kind of want to read them all, not back to back, but kind of closer together and see how I see that her writing matures, because I read this one first, but this is her most recent published work so yeah I do definitely want to check this one out again once I've kind of read more of her writing and see kind of how she matures as a writer. Next we have an interesting one and that is Innocence by Kathleen Tassaro. This is a book that I have owned for a really 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 long time. I remember almost nothing about it except that I really really enjoyed it. Um, I actually read um, the blurb on the inside flap um, prior to filming this video and even reading it I was kind of like oh it kind of like sparked a few things but I still don't really remember but I have this real sense in me that I remember enjoying this book a lot so I want to reread it um, and see what I think about it now that I'm older um, and you know I mean obviously maybe if I don't enjoy it then it wouldn't be worth keeping on my shelf but if I do really enjoy it then I want to remember that and remember everything about it as far as I know from what I read on the flap this follows a young teenage girl in the 80s, I think she's just recently moved out of home. She's living with two roommates who are very different. One is very kind of prim and proper, and one is kind of a real wild child. And I think she becomes kind of deeply involved in a friendship with this real wild child type girl, and it kind of changes her as a person. I think it then jumps timelines into the future when she is a single mother, and the wild child, it says on the flap, is long dead. She died in a car accident. I don't know if there's going to be something kind of around that. I don't remember. Um, and it's just kind of following the two time frames and there's something about the past that comes back kind of to haunt her. Um, it sounds really good. And like I say, I remember enjoying it. So I do look forward to rereading this one at some point. 
And the final book that I want to reread, I don't actually have a physical copy um, on me because I lent my copy to my brother, but that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a book that I absolutely adore. It's one of my favorite books um, of all time, but I have only read it once and I do really want to reread it and see kind of what I think about it just on a reread because I quite often take a lot more away from a book on a second reading when I kind of know what to expect and how everything's going to unfold. So I really look forward to just rereading it now that I kind of know everything that's going to happen and seeing how I enjoy it on a reread. So those are the top five books that I want to reread. I won't be rereading any of them this year because as I said, we're getting close to the end of the year and I had a lot of books I want to get to before the year is done, but hopefully I will reread all of these in 2017. Um, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you've read or reread any of these books, if you have any thoughts or any books that you guys really have been wanting to reread, I'd love to chat down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye, guys.